It is terrorism. It's terrorism by Hamas taking human shields, putting children in the way of Israel's legitimate military concerns. Hamas has a strategy. It's called the CNN strategy. I call it the dead baby strategy. Kill as many Jews as possible, provoke Israel into doing what every democracy would do, responding, then hide your tunnels and your fighters and your rockets behind civilians, knowing that Israel, no matter how hard they try to avoid civilian casualties, and why would Israel ever want to kill a civilian? It's absurd. It hurts them tremendously. But every time Israel kills a civilian, the world condemns them, and the United Nations condemns them. And then that process continues over and over and over again. The people who are being killed today are being killed as a result of Hamas actions. Hamas started it. Hamas uses human shields. If Hamas lay down its arms, if it surrendered, if it uh, agreed to give up control, if it uh, closed its tunnels, if it stopped its rockets, uh, then no civilians would be killed. So it's a terrible tragedy. There's no good solution. There's no perfect solution. If Israel stops now, Hamas continues to do it over and over and over again. If Israel continues, it gets condemned and loses friends abroad and even risks using the, the United States. It's a terrible dilemma for Israel. All the responsibility, all the fault of Hamas for starting this. And let me just end with one quote. On the day after, literally the day after these horrible tragedies with murders and rapes and robberies, this is what Mr. Finkelstein said. It warms every fiber of my soul, every fiber of my soul. He called the people who murdered these innocent Jews, many of them peaceniks, he called them part of the heroic resistance. And he compared them to the Jews who were fighting against Nazis in the Warsaw Ghetto. It's that kind of animosity toward Israel before Israel fired a single shot, which makes it clear that no matter what Israel does, it's going to be condemned by people like Norman Finkelstein and by the United Nations General Assembly. I think it was Abi Ibn who once said, if the General Assembly were asked to vote on an Algerian resolution that the earth is flat and that Israel flattened it, it would win 128 to 32 with 65 abstentions, and he would name each of the people. So the United Nations General Assembly, okay. Human Rights Watch, Doctors Without Borders, these are not objective assessments. Israel is in a very tough situation, and the future of civilization depends on Israel being All right, able let me to bring destroy in, Hamas okay. and avoiding repetition. Let me bring in Professor Finkelstein. Your response to that? 